this project, I'm going to be taking the Bernat Blanket. It's a weight 6 super bulky yarn. The hook I'm going to be using is a 8mm hook. So you're going to get started by chaining 36. Make a slip knot with your yarn. And just do a basic crochet chain. Once I have a chain of 36, I'm going to be placing a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Then I'm going to be placing one single crochet in each chain going back along the uh, row. So once I've reached the end of the row, I'm just going to chain one, turn my work over, and the very first chain of the row, you're going to skip the chain that's connected to your chain one. So in the very first chain of the row, I'm going to be placing one single crochet. In the very next chain of the row, I'm going to be placing a treble crochet, so I'm going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook twice, then going through my next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Then in the very next chain, back to a single crochet. Chain after another treble crochet. So you're gonna be repeating those two uh, stitches, alternating um, one in each chain until the end of the row. So once you've reached the end for the third row, you're going to chain one, flip over your work, and you're just going to be placing one single crochet in each chain for this entire row. So once you're finished, chain one, turn over your work. For the fourth and the fifth row, you're going to be repeating the second and the third row. So in the first chain, of the row, you're going to place one single crochet, and the next chain, you're going to be placing a treble crochet. You're going to repeat that for the fourth row, and then for the fifth row, you're just going to do one regular row of single crochet. You're going to finish these two rows and then come back. So once you've completed those two rows, you're just going to chain one, flip over your work. For the sixth row, you're also going to be repeating the second row, so I'm going to place one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, or the first chain. You're skipping over the chain that's connected to the chain one. In the very next chain, you're gonna place a treble crochet, and then back to a single crochet. So that is um, what you're gonna do for row six. So once you're finished with the sixth row, you're just going to chain one, flip over your work, and now for the seven through the 17th rows, for the next 10 rows, you're just going to be doing basic single crochets, one single crochet in each stitch. So you're gonna do 10 rows of that. So now I completed the 10 rows of just basic single crochet. Um, so now for the next portion of the pillow, you're gonna be repeating the second through the 17th row one more time, so you're going to do that entire sequence one more time from the second row of the little bobbles that we made all the way up to the 17th. So um, I'm going to have the written pattern um, on my blog, so if you want to see it written out, then it will be there. I'll post the link in the description box below. But yeah, so that's all I'm going to be doing. Um, you're just going to chain one, one single crochet in the first chain treble crochet in the next chain so yep I'm just gonna be doing one more sequence and then I'll be back to show you what's next
So I just want to point out in case there's any confusion, um, <clears throat> if you're a beginner at crocheting, it is a little bit confusing where to uh, figure out which chain is the beginning of the row. So I just completed my row. I chained one and I flipped over my work. So now um, it is kind of hard to see also because this yarn is very fluffy, but if you can see the very first chain that's connected to the chain one. So it's the chain that touches the chain one. This is not the first chain of the row. So your chain one kind of acts as the single crochet, the first single crochet of the row. Um, and it's what turns the work into the next row. So we don't wanna put any crochet through that very first chain because then it's going to increase your work and your work is gonna start branching off that way. So you always skip this chain unless directed otherwise, um, unless you're doing an increased row. So I just wanna clarify that. Um, so I'm gonna skip over this first chain and place my first single crochet in the chain after. So just want to um, be a little bit more thorough with the pattern. But yeah, so I'm just gonna be continuing this um, until it reaches the length of the front side of the pillow and yeah, that's all I'm going to be doing. So I'll be back once I'm finished with this. So now I finished with the entire back. I did a total of 37 rows. Um, so now I'm just going to cut and um, fasten off the corner. So now before we connect everything together, I'm going to show you how to make these little fringe strips. We're going to be sewing these onto the spaces in the pillow. Um, so basically all you're gonna need to do, you're gonna need a tape measure um, and then just take your yarn, make a slip knot, and then we're gonna be chaining a total of 35. So once you have chained 35, then we're just going to be placing a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then for this row, you're gonna be placing one single crochet in each chain. So once you make it to the end of the row, uh, just chain one, flip over your work, and then in the very first chain, we're going to be placing a slip stitch. So once you place your slip stitch, we're gonna begin making the fringe pieces. So that's where you need your measuring tape. So I'm just gonna pull until I get 10 inches. So once you have about 10 inches pulled off of your yarn, you're gonna take your hook off um, and then you're gonna wrap this around your finger 25 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Then you're gonna place it back onto the hook Go through that same exact chain that you placed your first slip stitch and you're going to place one more slip stitch. And then go through the very next chain and place a slip stitch. And then as you can see, the fringe will kind of just wrap onto itself and make a little spiral. So basically you're going to do that in every single chain. So now that I've placed my slip stitch in the next chain, I'm just going to again pull it to about 10 inches long, wrap it 25 times, and then slip stitch back into the same chain. So yeah, that's all you're going to do. I'm just going to continue doing that for every chain in this row. Um, and I'll be back once I finish with my fringe piece. You're going to make two of these. So now I made it to the very last chain. Um, so all you're going to do to end the row is you're going to go through the last chain with your hook, do a, a, slip, a slip stitch, and then you're just going to cut and yarn over, pull through. And then that's it. So you're finished with your fringe. Um, so now all we're going to do is start attaching everything together. So we're gonna begin by attaching the fringe to the uh, design portion of the pillow. Um, so all you're gonna be doing is lining it up against the row that's closest to the um, little bobble detail. Um, so 
there's two ways you can attach. Uh, you could either take your existing uh, working yarn and kind of sew it together using your hook and just go through, um, start by attaching uh, with a double knot and then just going through uh, both sides of the work and threading your working yarn through it like this. Um, and then just use slip stitches. So you're just gonna be going through random pieces, uh, making sure it's lined up and you're going through the same row on both sides um, with slip stitches. So that is one option. Another one is you can take a large sewing needle. Um, the yarn that I'm using won't fit through this, so I'm just gonna take another smaller yarn that I have laying around. It's not the same as that color, but um, anything will work really, but I'm just gonna go ahead and sew it because that's what's easier for me. If you don't have a sewing needle and you don't like to sew, um, then I would recommend just weaving in with your existing yarn. So once you have all the fringe sewn, um, we're just going to be connecting the body piece together. So what I'm going to do for this, a little bit different, um, I'm just going to line them up and then uh, flip it inside out. And what I'm going to be doing is using my working yarn to sew along the inside. So I'm just going to start at one corner and attach my hook through both sides, um, attach my yarn. Just going to place a double knot. So I'm basically just going to sew down the row with my um, yarn and needle. So I'm just going to place it through that same chain. I just placed my double knot. I'm going to yarn over, pull through, chain one. Then I'm just going to go through uh, both sides, going down the row, keeping it towards the top. I'm going to be placing single crochets to connect this together. You could do single crochet or slip stitches. Um, depends what kind of edging you want it to look like. I'm just gonna do um, single crochets. But yeah, so that's basically all I'm gonna do. Just work along the top, um, go down the side, work down the bottom. We're going to leave, uh, basically just be working all the way around. We're gonna leave this side open to stuff it and then we're going to connect it uh, together once we have stuffed it. So yeah, that's basically all I'm going to be doing. I'll come back when I reach the edge uh, when we're going to get ready for the stuffing and I'll show you how to do that. So now I've made my way all the way around. Um, I did cut it and uh, fasten it off at the very end. Um, so now I'm just going to flip it to the right side and then I'm going to start stuffing it. Um, so all I'm going to do is just fill it with my pillow. I'm just gonna tie my, uh, double knot my yarn on the very end and then just do a row of slip stitches. So I'm not gonna be doing single crochets, I'm gonna be doing slip stitches to close the top off and then that's basically it for this pillow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and begin to fill it up. <laughs> 